Good morning and welcome to day three of my Edinburgh adventure. It is Wednesday, so we're getting closer. Tomorrow's the big day. So today um, a lot of people have arrived um, in Edinburgh and um, we are meeting some of them at around one o'clock today um, to climb up Arthur's seat. This one on this mill is the Hunter, the Hunter uh, Tartan, and this one on the side is PCE Stewart. I love the way they have little signs so you can see which one is which. Far Carson. <sighs> so um, the tar some tartans are designed specifically for certain um, things. Um, there was one for the Commonwealth Games, which was here when I was uh, when, I, when I was here last time. And uh, this one is the World Peace Tartan, which we all need. Isn't that lovely? It's lovely kind of purple, light lilac, purple, green and dark purples and reds. It's absolutely lovely. to Edinburgh Castle. Still a working castle with military people, etc. There's a huge barracks in there. It costs about, uh, I don't know the price at the moment, but between 15 to 20 pounds to get in. There's a huge amount of stuff to get in there. Totally worth it. I've been in three times. I'm not going to go in today, but really wonderful. Wonderful place, wonderful castle and wonderful views. This is my favourite side of the city. You can see the Pentland Hills over here, still some snow on them. There's a ski, sco ski course over there. You can see, let me just get out of that way of that photo, that's all good. So, you can see the grass market down there, and then all the way over, you can see Arthur's seat, and we're gonna be on top of that in a couple of hours. People are already up there already actually. I can see little dots of people. Very quite cute. Now I'm going to get out of this lady's photo. Lots of photos being taken. Obviously it's beautiful. So I just thought I'd come up here and show you the castle because I wasn't sure whether I would get another chance to come up. Um, yeah, so we're going to walk into Old Town, or New Town now, New Town behind me, and uh, go to Cathy's Knits, which is down on Broughton Street. So it's probably about a 20 minute walk. So my rule is in Edinburgh, if it takes less than half an hour, walk it. I've never been fitter than I was in Edinburgh. So we're now in the area um, just between um, Northbridge and Southbridge. And this, this church here is known as the Tron. And this is where all of the tours start. And there's a load of free tours, walking tours of Edinburgh. I really recommend them. Um, there's only like a tip at the end that you'd give them. There's a Harry Potter tour, there's ghost tours. Yeah, it's fantastic. There's absolutely loads of them going on. So um, if you're interested in finding out more of the history, more of the kind of the hidden history underneath the city, this is where to pick up a really good tour. 
at these nets. Here we go. That's much better. Or the phone. This might not work with this particular pattern. It'll work with other patterns, but um, I'm just sitting here thinking. I don't know again. what the background pattern is. See what you need. Yeah. Do you see, like, you're, like if I was gonna, if this was gonna be yeah. the, the contrast. Mm. Which color? I mean, it could just be the dark. No, that's not gonna show up enough. You want the pattern to show. Mm -hmm. So white, maybe white seems to be white. Is the number is the one that we need the most quantity of in this pattern. But so if you did white, do you like white? Oh dear, <laughs> I'm already money down. I knew that would happen. It was amazing. I popped in and I saw Mei Lin, who is the, oh God, can I remember? Bah! I'll put it down there if I remember, but she's um, one of the woolly muckers in Knit British. My Kathy, of course, wonderful Kathy. And um, we talked about Kate Davies and Susan Crawford and color work designs and, and then I turned around just as I was about to go and I saw Erin who's Mama to Abigail who I've been chatting to on Instagram and it was just oh, oh the woolly fabulousness is so good I'm on so major sweater sweater knitter watch I've seen three and they don't see me looking at them going thank god probably because I get terrified of poor things but I'm so excited the city is filling with knitters so back in the flat, I picked up, we picked up some treats from pret manger They have some excellent vegan and veggie options <gasps> and it's easy, so <gasps> yeah, handy. And I'm going to show you what I got. It's a bit naughty, so look away if you're of a delicate disposition. I missed these last year. It's from the Knitting Goddess and I absolutely love it. This is the Knitting Goddess of beautiful um, wooden tags and it's got stuff in it! <laughs> so, 
I bought one of these and I had a big colorful rainbowy one in my hand and then I realized I think I wouldn't use it. I've got a, I've got a rainbow of minis already and I saw some amazing color work designs when I was there. So this is going to be that. <gasps> and then I also saw this incredible piece. It's wool rush hand spun yarns. It's from the Pentlands in um, just outside Edinburgh. It's hand spun, everybody. Hand spun. I couldn't leave it behind me. And it's green, so it's Glenesk and it knits as a four ply, 80% uh, merino wool, and it's her own, 20% of her own Zvorkels. Um, what? It's hand spun, beautiful green, and I bought all of these in Kathy's Knits. So a little bit of damage. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hi girls! So we are walking up the hill. We're walking up Arthur's seat. We're going along this direction flat and then we're going whoop. It's gonna be good. But from here you can actually see um, Calton Hill over here. So yeah so we've got some structures over here. If you see the bit that looks a bit like um, kind of a Roman arch business you know with all the columns um, so Edinburgh is actually called the At the Athens of the North because it's like known to be like full of intellectual people and smarty pantses and blah blah blah. <laughs> so they used to they actually wanted to build the Parthenon there. So, but they ran out of money. So <laughs> they uh, they 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 stopped halfway, and it's actually called Scotland's disgrace. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oops. <laughs> but um, now it just looks like a classy old ruin. So, you know, works either way. What rock? Oh, gorse. That's gorse. And at some part of the year, it smells like coconuts. It's the only coconuts we ever get. It smells like coconuts right now. Does it? Yes. Whoa. I know. The Salisbury Crags over here. Crazy. It's amazing, and it makes an amazing. It's a nat natural dye plant as well. Yeah. Uh, me, like, like a few of these. I don't know what color it makes. Like a green. I I would like to imagine it's yellow, but you never know, really. Love that. Of course. Yeah, they're super sharp. Yeah, you'd have to really. Oh. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known the difference. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm a fan of both. That's the top. We'll get there. These are the people. I still have all of them. Seven. One, count them. Including me. nothing without somebody in it. <gasps> low battery? What? <gasps> Mario got a low battery! I have a battery. Oh, Jane. and a cable, but what if we just missed the first go round? But I've got my savior right here. And I and we just happened to be in a group chat where someone had said, oh, I just saw someone post that they went back on after it was sold out and were able to get one. So I don't know. Nottingham. No. So it's really cool, like pub at the base of that castle. It's amazing. It's called Yeo.